So this one happens in the church though too, and it actually sets people up to fall because we we actually want them to believe uh, in the faith, but yeah. if we teach them how to beg the question their way through it, it's it's not going to end well. And so with this, we sort of have well, you know that God is real because the Bible says that God is real, and the Bible says that you can trust the Bible because the Bible says that all Scripture is breathed out, and the Bible is from God. So right. what right. we've said is, I believe in the Bible because because I believe in the the, the Bible, God is real because the Bible says so. And I, you, you're, you're assuming the whole thing along the right. way. And we believe that the scripture is breathed out by God. We believe that it is his true and infallible word. And so we believe that God exists, but you're assuming the answer before you're ever asking anything, before you're making the statement. And so uh, instead of this, we actually have to backtrack and say, well, is there any compelling evidence that God might be God? And, and so we go not to the scripture says it, but he was risen from the dead and people inside right, right. of and outside of the church attested to it, that, that it's right. not just in the Bible, that, that the resurrection is purported, but you actually have outside evidence that, that purports to, to say that Jesus is, is risen from the dead. Um, and, and then going by this evidence saying that there was this man who was crucified and then people say he was raised and a bunch of them saw it. Then I'm willing to actually conceive of the scriptures as if they might be something to pay attention to. Yeah, and it's interesting too there. Um, I kept thinking about as you were talking, why, um, you know, you're talking about apologetics um, and apologetics are important. It means essentially the defense of the faith. And um, one of the big reasons we're training our old think melon, I used it again for you, is because we love our neighbor. Um, and we also don't wanna lose our own faith. So when we sort of make these unhelpful arguments um, they, they are kind of more of a stumbling block than helpful to those that we're trying to talk to about our faith. So if I say you God, you know, say to you, God is real because the Bible says so, and the Bible comes from God, um, that's going to... That that's anybody not going to, that's not going to help anybody believe. Um, that's not going to, it's, it's, and uh, clearly what you said is going to be quite a bit more helpful because, um, it uses your reason in a better way. We, we don't just believe God is real because the Bible says so and the Bible is from God. We believe it. Um, do we believe people rise from the dead in general? No, that doesn't happen. But one guy did, right? Right. And, While you were talking, I was thinking about eating macaroni and cheese. But also, <laughs> um, if, if mm, all of I'm hungry now claim that Jesus did rise from the dead, then what the Bible says about him, I'm willing to take. Uh, in a in a new light. So, in other words, we're starting uh, with no assumptions, and then we're building upon that which we learn instead of assuming, and then building on our assumptions. Because when you build on assumptions, um, I think there's a saying that you can Google that I'm not going to say on this podcast, but it's going to set you up to to fall with umption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at you. Used my think melon. Um, you sure did. That was really, really good. I like it. Okay, so I, I mean, to kind of conclude though, this is yeah. this is one of the harder ones to sort of get your your think melon around. Yeah, uh, begging the question, but it's also one of the ones you see almost the most, and and it can be one of the more destructive ones to not only uh, rational thought, but to how to have any real discussion with somebody you might not agree with. See, if you walk in just sort of assuming that they're wrong and not having any room for middle ground, any chance to learn, how are you going to learn? Like, like what if, what if you can grow, not only, even if you're right, what if you could grow an understanding of why you were right instead of just shouting somebody yeah. down? What if you were yeah. wrong and you could adjust right. your world? Yeah. And I think what we're saying here is we're encouraging you not to be a lazy thinker because it's not going to help your faith or your neighbor's faith, um, which is why we're doing this because we're having a little fun at it too. But um, yeah. I thought we were doing this to hang out. Oh yeah, that too. Oh yeah, that too. On that note, we out, kids. We out. Thanks, guys.